Hello and welcome to Piano and Keyboard Artist, where we discuss the artists related to pianos, keyboards and synthesizers. And continuing with my Depeche Mode album review series, this is Violator Part 13. Welcome to the most in-depth Depeche Mode album review series ever conducted by an independent YouTuber. That's right, we're on part 13 of the Violator album review series. And if you've not seen parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, do go to the link in the description below where you can catch up with those videos before you get onto this one. And while you're down there, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and uh, leave a comment, introduce yourself, let me know who you are because if you're a Depeche Mode fan, there is no other channel to be but this one. If this is your first time to this channel, I would like to welcome you with open arms and invite you to please hit that subscribe button and join this one of a kind community. Also know that we have a closed Facebook group, which is part of this channel. If you wish to join that, the link will be in the description below. And I set that Facebook group up as a kind of forum community where we can discuss the videos that I talk about on this channel in a lot more detail. So go join that. If you want even more in-depth content, be sure to join my Vaughn George Patreon community for as little as two dollars a month you can have access to in-depth videos and a lot more other goodies and with all the housekeeping out the way let's jump into part 13 of violator put it on and don't say a word put it on i love this song as you all know this song to me is a classic Martin Gore song. I know Martin usually gets two songs on every album, but this is one of my favorites. Interestingly enough, in many discussions, I know there are a lot of you that feel that this is your least favorite song on the album. Um, personally, I disagree, and he has an unpopular opinion. Um, I would be more likely to skip Personal Jesus before I skip this song. Yeah, I know that's controversial, but this song has always resonated with me on a very deep level. Um, once again, we've talked a lot about the track listing and how the songs flow on this album, making this one of the most outstanding records in pop, pop history, as far as I'm, con I'm concerned. Um, but just the way Policy of Truth ends, and you get the... It's got that bendy kind of um, synth sound, whatever it is. Um, this song just really, really goes really well between policy of truth and clean. And indeed, um, I might do a little video one day where I encourage you guys to, uh, if you were to alter the track listing of Violator, you know, how would that work? I, I personally would find it very difficult to do because I just find the way the track listing flows is brilliant. But this song, Blue Dress, um, this is Martin Gore at his most tender. This is a very loving kind of lullaby and I use the word lullaby because it really is like a lullaby. Um, the lullaby approach was used in uh, Waiting for the Night as well, when we look at this part. There is a star in the sky Go back and watch my Waiting for the Night video for a more in-depth uh, review of that. But this is very much a lullaby, a beautiful, beautiful, tender lullaby. And if we look at the way Martin sings it, he sings it in a very low register. Um, he's not projecting it. It's not in a, it, it is towards the sort of more speaking chest voice register of his, of his voice. And this gives it a real sort of intimate kind of um, sound. If you take the lyrics and the intention of the song, it's sexual, it's kinky. Martin, you kinky bastard. <laughs> it's sexual. It's kind of kinky, I suppose. But like with most of Martin's songs, they're ambiguous. And 
the meanings aren't always literal but I, I do feel that in this particular song uh, the meaning is very literal it's put it on the one that I prefer it's that blue dress that gets me in the mood for you baby and the way he sings it is very put it on and don't say a word put it on the one that I prefer it's very it's almost as if though he's whispering in her ear so you wouldn't go put it on and don't say a word that's why I'm not a fan of opera but I'm common so what do I know about opera it's put it on and don't say a word put it on and this to me is a tender beautiful 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 lullaby and he seduces you with his voice he really really does absolutely one of his best vocals ever now unfortunately i do not have any of the original multi-track parts for this as i do on you know with some of the other songs but also here's a question for you and i'd like your comment in the description below um as far as i'm concerned did they ever perform this song live martin did sing sweetest perfection but it was not performed in the sort of like album version he had an acoustic guitar and he just sang the sweetest perfection and he sang it a i think it was a, a semitone or a or th you know, three semitones higher uh, which gave it a more sort of projecting sound but anyway for more details on that go and watch my um, sweetest perfection video the question i'm asking you is did they ever perform this live? Because I don't think I've ever seen footage of that. And of course, if you have, please leave a link in the description below. And if they did, was it performed in the, uh, you know, in the same way it was done in the album or was it done acoustically? I believe personally that it was probably done acoustically if they did do it, because I don't actually have the original Emacs samples for the song. Right, so analyzing it on the piano just in block chords, let's look at this. It goes nicely and easily just from a D to a B minor, D to a B minor. And the way it rocks back and forth is very lullaby-like, and I will explain. It's put it on and don't say a word. Put it on the one that I prefer. Let's just move it a bit. Put it on and stand before my eyes. Put it on Please don't question why Can you believe You can see how it just goes back and forth from the D to the B minor And the way it just moves from one chord to the next da 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 It really has that real sort of lullaby feeling And of course this is metaphorically speaking This is not musically speaking This is just emotionally speaking It reminds me of a, uh, you know, it's like rocking a baby to sleep in a, in a, in a cradle It's la 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 da 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 Bum, 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 bum. It's just back and forth, back and forth. This has got a real lullaby quality. Interestingly as well, if you listen to the timing of the song, it's a waltz. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Listen to the bass line. It's a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Da, 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 da. And of course, to emphasize that lullaby type feeling, if you were just to hum it without actually singing the lyrics, you see what I mean. You see, even without the words, it's, that, that really emphasizes the real sort of lullaby uh, feel. Of course, then we get the it just goes from the D to the B minor, and then we get the first variation when it gets to the Say You Believe, bum, 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 bum. And it has these low piano chords or piano like octaves on the record, bum, 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 bum. They're very subtle, but it gives it impact, and they are as follows Say You Believe. And that brings us down to the D again, but then we get the variation here Something so simple. Something so trivial And it's also back and forth just from the D But this time from the D to the to the F sharp minor Something so simple Something so trivial And then you get this It's not agorism Remember agorism is a chord that kind of catches you off guard 
although this isn't a clashy type chord, it does kind of catch you off guard. Listen to this. Something so simple, something so trivial to the B minor makes me a happy man. It, it just comes in surprisingly. Uh, and just the way the chords, how the song starts off with the put it on, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When you get to this part, just the way the chords move very differently. So in the beginning section of the song, you're getting used to this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But then it changes when we get to this part where the chords move in a different, uh, uh, um, almost in a different sequence, really. And it just... If you're if you're musically skilled, you will probably be able to explain better what I mean. Of course, for the person who doesn't understand music, my layman's explanation is always I find very useful, as people say. Um, it's something so simple, something so trivial, that makes me a happy man. Can't you understand? Say you believe, and again. Just how easy it is to please me. Okay, now did you notice what I did there? On this part where it goes to makes me a happy man, goes down to the A, and then it goes down to this chord here, which is a E over a G sharp. Can't you understand? And then we have a passing note here, which is the E, back to the D. Say you believe, and then bum 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 bum. Just how easy it is to please me. Now it goes back to the B, but this time it's not a B minor. It, it goes back to a B, uh, a B major. And, 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 and just, just, just listen to this progression now. Then it goes to the because when you learn, you'll know what makes the world turn. And this is interesting because when it gets when it gets to this part, he ends on a B and then he immediately changes the B on the next part to a B minor. So we get this. Watch this. Just how easy it is to please me. And you're on the B. Now watch how this B changes into a B minor. Because when you learn, you'll know what makes the world turn. Watch again. Just how easy it is to please me. Watch again. Just how easy it is to please me. Major and then to minor. Because when you learn, you'll know what makes the world turn. Listen to this progression. It's just, it's it, unconventional. Um, it's it's not a progress. I mean, if you're a musically schooled person, you can probably tell me what that progression is called. But uh, you know, in pop music, you don't often hear that kind of complexity. Listen to this. Forgetting musical notation and technical stuff, just listen to the feel of it. Can you see how it? it's unpredictable? You, you don't sort of know what's coming next. Of course we know what's coming next because we've listened to it a million times now, but when you hear it initially, these progressions are just so unorthodox, but hey man, they just work. We then get to the second part of the song. Put it on. I can feel so much Put it on I don't need to touch And it really opens up And then what we also have on this part of the song Listen carefully There's this kind of lullaby kind of dun 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 dun, Which is something like this Is that put it on I can feel so much dun, 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 dun. It's very subtle in the background But you do hear it And it just emphasizes that lullaby approach And then, then put it on 
I don't need to touch. And I love that line, I don't need to touch. It's like I can just eat you up with my eyes. I don't need to touch. Martin, you kinky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. And it gets intense at this part. Here before my eyes. And, 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 and the way he sings this, um, as I say, it's very sort of soft conversational but he does he does use a uh, diaphragm and he does have this the you know the, the the baritone sort of vibration um but i do love the subtle effects when it goes here before my eyes when he gets to here the, the sort of here is quite demanding here before my eyes and when he gets to the word eyes it kind of tethers off it's more subtle and and there are many many examples in that's you know, of that just on the vocal part um and don't even get me started on that because that is a video on its own put it on because you realize and there he does it again because you realize and you believe he's really like bringing you in and then almost whispering and and you know i don't even think that was intentional i just think this is the brilliance of martin Something so worthless serves a purpose. And here we come to that B minor again. Makes me a down to the A happy man. And then to the uh, E over G sharp. Can't you understand? And then a passing note. E to D. Say you believe. And then bum 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 bum. Just how easy it is to please me. And then back to that B. And then straight turning that B into a B minor again. Because when you learn, you know what makes the world turn. And then it just goes out on the do, 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 do. Do, do, do. And, and it's got a synth part, which is just... But of course it goes... It bends, and of course you can't bend piano notes. But that is the structure of the song, really. Simply and beautiful, and once again, as I say, when you play it on the piano like this, it, it strips away all the... Because I don't want to say the synthesized sounds are distracting. I mean, they do take you on a, on a trip. But strip that away, just onto the piano, you get the sort of honesty and the sort of like... Uh, um, the vanilla beauty of the song and indeed that's what I'm going to do now and we're going to just do a piano improvisation and that is just me expressing it on the fly showing the various parts of the song um, as I feel at the moment
And that's Blue Dress, one of my favorite Martin Gore songs of all time. What do you think? Subscribe, let me know your thoughts on Blue Dress, on Violator or anything. Remember, we're coming to the last video, so join me next week for the concluding chapter in Violator, which is clean, part 14 of this Violator album review series. My friends, thank you so much for your support, lots of love, and I wish you all the best, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Adios. Adios.